Hi everyone, today I'd like to show you the power of Azure DevOps. DevOps is a tool within Microsoft that's formerly known as VSDS, and it's a great tool to help you develop uh, and release software very quickly. But next to that, it does way much more than just helping you in the CI CD pipelines of your software release cycle. It helps you also with planning and uh, giving uh, your team a, a, a tool for work to work in an agile and open, uh, transparent way. So what I've created is a small web application uh, and what will happen in a lot of organizations is that uh, we want to have a quick release cycle. We want to direct, uh, directly interact with our customers and respond to their uh, uh, open issues. So. Uh, what will what you will see here is uh, I've created an application that listens to Twitter apps. The messages will be evaluated by cognitive services, and if it's positive or negative, it will be persisted on a topic on Redis cache. And uh, there's a web application showing you uh, the status of your application. Uh, and if you have too many negative sentiments, uh, you will see that. Uh, a, a ticket will be created in Azure DevOps and the product owner, the owner of this uh, wonderful website needs to uh, interact or react as soon as possible. He or she will also get a message in Slack and uh, that way he knows that uh, something needs to be done. So within uh, DevOps, uh, there will be an, a, a ticket created or a, a new story created and it will be put on the product backlog. Uh, of, within a sprint, of course, you could have multiple uh, uh, features that are going to be worked on, but the product owner basically decides uh, if this is an urgent uh, uh, task that needs to be fulfilled within the sprint or not. So uh, within this demo, we say, of course, this is very urgent. You need to fix this. So the product owner will create a new task and assign this task to the developer. This task will appear as a, uh, as a, a new item or a new story for the developer and it will be put on the sprint backlog. So what will happen, the developer uh, will uh, change the status of, of this uh, message uh, on the Kanban board so everybody within the DevOps team knows that this developer is working on it and that he's using the, uh, the hotfix branch to implement his changes. So when he does that, he will trigger a couple of build procedures on dev test, and then it will be promoted to acceptance. But before that, the product owner needs to give uh, his or her okay on this change. If that's okay, uh, he will uh, promote this um, the release to the acceptance environment, and then uh, the business and the, the business other business owners have the time to evaluate the release. Uh, if they say it's okay to promote it to production, the product owner will uh, approve this change in the release cycle and the uh, release will be promoted to production. When the last step, what will happen is that the two branches, the hotfix branch and the master branch will be merged. So let's demo this. Uh, let's get to it. Let me pause for a second. So we're back again. So here you see uh, the environment on, on the development environment. You see that we have a left uh, side of the screen, which is green and contains all the positive tainted messages, which has been tweeted. And on the right side, it's all the negative ones. And here you see the hashtag we are going to use in this uh, demonstration. So uh, let me show you what I'm going to do on my phone. Let's refresh the screen. So this is my phone. I will uh, tweet a message here and I say uh, the weather, uh, weather is horrible, horrible. And so is this demo. And I'm using the hashtag which we agreed on. It's called FWO DevOps. So that's the one. I'm going to tweet this. So, uh, of course, we don't see the message yet. It needs to be picked up by uh, Logic Apps. But when that has been done, uh, if correctly, we would see a Slack message. And uh, I, as a product owner, should know that I need to react to this. So uh, to 
to give you a little impression this is uh, my logic app we designed so here you see I'm listening to a new tweet then I'm listening to the sentiment uh, then the results of this sentiment the score will be persisted to an, uh, a rest service which is on my AKS cluster I will parse the result and then I'm going to check for negative sentiments if it's uh, uh, negative and the counter of this is bigger than uh, five, oh, you see that the message comes in uh, in my Slack message here. People are not happy more than five and do something. So I, as a product owner, see this message. I need to do something. Let me finish the story. So when I got uh, five or more me negative tainted messages, uh, two things will happen. Uh, first, of course, I will send out a Slack message, and here you see people are not happy, more than five tainted messages. That's the message you just saw popping by. And uh, the next thing what I will do, which is very important, I will create a work item. And here, this is connected to uh, a connector to my DevOps project. And here you see that I'm creating a new user story, and the description is too many negative sentiments. So on the other side, what I also like to do is uh, reward the positive tweets. And for example, if the 10th positive tweet comes in, the 10th the user get like a t-shirt or something. But uh, let's see what happened. So we saw the Slack message coming in. Uh, what we also see on this screen that uh, the weather is horrible. And so is this demo. We see that this is a negative sentiment. It's put on the right side. And uh, we now like to see, of course, if there is a new uh, story in uh, Azure DevOps. So this is Azure DevOps. I'm logged in uh, through my Slack message as a product owner. I know that so something is not good. Something needs to be done. I'm going to my boards. And in my work boards, I see that uh, there is a new work item created. So this is my product backlog, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, go to boards. And here I see that uh, there, there is this uh, story. Uh, I'm going to click on this one. And I'm going to assign it to one of my developers. And uh, this is Mike, the developer, who's part of my DevOps team. I will uh, say uh, this is part of my iteration. I want to quickly fix this. Uh, and I will say there's too many negative uh, sentiments. The layout, uh, let me put it in the acceptance career. Please change the layout. Layout, it looks horrible. Um, so what I also will do, uh, I will give it a high priority, I will say three, and what is important, I say I want to link this, and I don't want to create a new branch, I want to link this, uh, so that the work that needs to be done, I want it not to be done on the, on the master, but I want it to be done on the hotfix branch. So here I say, please do it on the hotfix branch. I will link this. So the developer knows, okay, this needs to be fixed as soon as possible. Then I will create a new item, related work, and I say, okay, please create a task. And in this task, I say, please change the layout of the monitoring page. So it's clear for the developer what he needs to do. I will save and close this. And let me close it. I can close. So here you see that it's still a new item and, uh, and it's assigned to Mike Torvaldson. So let's see. Uh, now I'm going to the screen of Mike the developer. And Mike the developer is using Safari, of course. Uh, let me refresh this screen. So this is his dashboard here. He sees a, let's go here. He sees a, an overview. Let's go, the boards. Let's go to boards. So 
So Mike got an email and let me have a look in the email. He says, okay, Mike knows about this because story 141 was assigned to Mike Torvaldson. He says, okay, there are too many negative sentiments and uh, the layout needs to change. So Mike is of course worried. He needs to uh, take care of this as, uh, as soon as possible. So he's going to have a look at it. The boards. And here he says, okay, I need to do something. He's going to pick it up and he needs to communicate it. He says, okay, uh, I need to do it on the hotfix branch. So I'm going to my boards and I'm going to say, okay, boss, I'm going to work on it. And I will estimate that. Uh, and this is the task. I say, please change the layout of the monitoring page. So within the team, you will have a definition of done and the certain things need to be done before uh, he can uh, uh, promote it. But uh, anyway, Mike is going to work on it. Everybody in the team can see this board and they see Mike is working on this issue. So we're still at Mike's place. Uh, Mike says, okay, I, I will do this task, but there's some task I need to do more. So first I will develop and test local. Then I have another task I need to deploy and test dev, deploy and test to uh, the test. Okay, so let's go here. And from there on, it needs to be approved by uh, other people, but not him. So Mike is going to work on this uh, uh, tasks. And uh, this is also nice for the rest of the team to see what he is working on. And once he's done something, he will say that as well by linking this or not, right? So everybody within the team can see what's Mike working on. So let's go to Mike's development uh, environment. And this is his favorite editor. So he's going to the, he checked out the status page. He's working on the proper branch, which is the hotfix branch. And here he is opening the index.html. Uh, so first he's going to test it uh, locally, index.js. So he's going to a local page. Let's go to localhost 8080, which is his own machine. And he sees that only one thing has changed. Please let me know what you think about this demo, but uh, the layout is still old. So what he will do now is uh, he's going to make some changes and he already knew that this was coming, of course. So he's, he commented it out. So it's not a lot of work for him and he's going to remove the green background. And he's going to say, okay, the background is also not red anymore. I'm going to use a nice picture here. So let's save this. Let's see how it looks locally on my machine now. It's listening here, localhost. Ah, this is much nicer. It's obviously the right side is the negative side and the left side is the positive side, the positive tweets. So Mike is happy with this. Uh, Mike is going to his board. He says, okay, I've changed the layout and I'm doing it to dev and test. I'm going at to promote it, not yet. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to put this, I did my thing. I'm going to put it onto resolve. You can see that the status has been changed. Only uh, the definition of done is not finished yet because he needs to do it on dev and test as well. In order for him to do this, he will trigger the build pipeline and the build pipeline is doing uh, is being triggered simply by committing his source code to the branch. So he will say git commit uh, fixed the layout, git push. So being pushed. This will trigger a build. And let's go to the build. Here you see a new build has started. 
fix the layout. So what this build is doing is it will create a Docker file, push it to the Azure Container Registry, and after that has been done, so pushing the image, the new image to the container registry, a release pipeline will be started. And you see here we have a traditional dev test acceptance and production release line, re release pipeline. So if I go to dev .twitter demo, you see that I have still the old uh, demo here or the old layout. And now it's busy de deploying this on the development environment. After the deployment on the development environment, it will automatically do a deployment on the test environment because this is how the pipeline is configured. So when we go to the uh, test site, we will probably see that it's still not deployed. Uh, but after this, of course, we will see that the test environment has been deployed as well. So in the meantime, uh, the developer uh, has deployed his uh, or has done his task for deploying and testing it on development and test. So he will change the task so that everyone within the team can see that he fulfilled his task. Uh, of course, when the product owner doesn't agree with this and uh, he doesn't approve the promotion to acceptance, the product owner can move this story from resolved to active. So we finished uh, the release to the acceptance environment. Of course, within each phase, you can uh, automate your tests uh, or use a test suite as well. So there are test plans you can uh, mandatory uh, execute. But um, for this demo purpose, we leave it as is. So we're going to check if the deployment to acceptance has uh, succeeded. So we're going to refresh the page and we see that on acceptance, everything is as it needed. Also from this step, I need to approve this. So what I will do is uh, push the approve button because I uh, discussed it with my business owners and they say, okay, let's go for it. Let's go for production. Uh, if I wouldn't approve it, then of course I would push the reject button, but I'm going to approve it. So uh, this is uh, a very simple demo on how you can uh, promote a, a hotfix from uh, from the engineering stage to the uh, uh, or from the fix phase till the production phase. And uh, the last thing what I need to do as a as a product owner is I'm going to go to my boards. And I go to the backlogs. Sorry, boards. And here I say, okay, I'm all happy. Uh, everything is in uh, production. I'm not going to put it uh, back. So I say I put it to closed. And uh, that's it. I hope you guys liked it. Um, if you want to uh, have more information, please reach out to contact me or also have a look at the wiki section. So in the wiki section, uh, there's a, a lot of documentation on uh, what the flow is and how it reacts. And also the story about the uh, product backlogs and the sprint backlogs has been documented a bit. Okay, that's all. Uh, have a nice day. Bye-bye.